Hey everyone, uh, Scott here from Classic Lee, and today I'm going to show you the steps that I like to take to record Let's Play videos. I have a quick disclaimer, and it's the fact that for the first half of the video, before I get into any actual game demonstration, I'm going to be utilizing two different pieces of software so that I can show you what I'm doing. Because once I start recording with the Hapog Capture software, I can't change any of the settings. So I'm going to use Fraps, and I'm going to use Audacity. The first thing that I do is load up the Hapog Capture software because I use the HD PVR2 for my Let's Play videos since it records everything from my retro consoles uh, all the way up to uh, my PC. The first thing that I do is take a look at the video and audio inputs and make sure that they're set appropriately. Since I'm going to be recording some PC footage here for my example, I'm going to use the HDMI in. But if I'm going to do PS3, I would use Component. Um, I don't have any devices that use S video, but uh, Composite is great because it allows me to record my retro consoles. Audio input just allows you to do uh, line in left or right. Um, HDMI always works for me. Now the most important thing that you need to do is select your microphone input. Uh, by default, uh, usually has none selected. And I like to utilize my USB uh, condenser mic for my Let's Play videos, but you can also use a headset, which is awesome. One tip I have for you if you are going to be doing some PC footage recording, uh, make sure to turn the preview off. You want the preview to be disabled. You can do that by going into settings and then on the left box in the middle selecting no video. Now two features I should mention about the software that I don't ever utilize are the ability to stream to Twitch TV and Ustream directly and also to upload to, uh, to YouTube which is pretty cool. Just link your accounts appropriately and you should be all set. So now that we have our settings ready to go, uh, let's go ahead and start playing some games. Alright, here we are with the uh, Let's Play demo portion of the video. Uh, I apologize for Fraps being so choppy there at the beginning. Um, I'm not sure how to fix that or correct it, and I, again, I wasn't able to use the uh, Hapog software because I really wanted to show you what the settings and dropdowns looked like, and once you start recording, you can't adjust the uh, settings or dropdowns. Uh, but anyways, uh, what I'd like to do here is just give you a demonstration of what the audio and the video quality is like with this sort of one button solution that Hapog offers. Uh, there are a lot of different ways that you can do Let's Play videos. This is only one of them and it's just the way that I happen to prefer. Um, so if you have any general questions about doing a Let's Play video, I'm by no means an expert but I might be able to help if you're utilizing Audacity and another piece of recording software or if you have any questions about using Hapog Capture, I, I will uh, try to help that as well. Now there's two tips that I probably should have mentioned at the beginning that I will share now. Uh, the first one has to do with uh, being in a situation where you're not using a gaming headset. If you are going to be using uh, stereo speakers, um, like I am right now, with a standalone microphone, then one of the things that you're going to need to do is, on the initial capture screen, you're going to want to locate a speaker on the bottom right corner, it's a little icon, Go ahead and click that button to make sure that that speaker is set to off. What that's going to do is help prevent your microphone from picking up any of the game audio. Uh, phenomenal feature uh, because I actually prefer, if I can, to play without a headset um, just like it's a console. Uh, even though you can play console games with headsets. Uh, I just like the fact that everything can go through my stereo. Uh, the other one is, I, I gotta recommend test a few times. Uh, by testing, I mean do some gameplay audio, do some voiceover, and make sure that, that you're happy with the balance of the game audio versus the, uh, versus the microphone volume. Uh, the, the easiest way to, to adjust these items are actually also in the, the initial capture screen of the Hog software. Uh, there's little sliders that will allow you to adjust the amount of game volume versus the amount of microphone volume. Uh, I've got a fairly strong voice, so I need to keep the, uh, the microphone volume a little on the, the downside so that my voice gets picked up um, in a good manner. But uh, this is a good tip just for any sort of Let's Play video. Uh, Audacity has settings so that you can um, 
change your, the amount of volume that's going in uh, to your microphone. And a lot of games have options to adjust the sound settings. So there we go. So make sure to do some tests and, and make sure to find a good balance before you spend a lot of time making a video and then find out that you don't really like the way that the audio came out. Uh, so I guess just as far as a let's play, let me talk about some DuckTales a little bit. Um, I've done a full review, and overall this is a, a good game. Um, they did a, a pretty good job with the remakes. Uh, there are a few things that for me are a bit jarring, but uh, overall it's a, it's a pretty fun game. It plays well. Uh, the music's great. Um, the fact that you can turn on the original 8-bit soundtrack is one of my favorite features I've seen in the game in a while. So. Uh, Big thumbs up to Way Forward for including that. Uh, you may notice that I am entering a lot of cutscenes. That's the one thing about this game that, that's kind of driven me a little nuts is uh, the gameplay gets uh, the gameplay gets broken up quite a bit. So, uh, anyways, just want to uh, point out um, the way that I like to go through and uh, do a let's play video and. Hopefully you found this video uh, helpful and, and informative. If so, um, like and share the video. Uh, if uh, you like some of our other stuff, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, uh, if you like my commentary, uh, we do a podcast at Classic Week. It's about electronics, gaming, and other stuff that's going on in our lives. Uh, we have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, you can get that at ClassicLeap.com. And uh, also, you can just search on iTunes for Classic Leap and find us there. Uh, we're on social media like Twitter, Facebook, all that fun stuff. So uh, if you have any questions for us, feel free to get a hold of us. Send us a private message on YouTube. Or you can send us an e email at uh, classicleapgmail.com. Uh, again, my name is Scott, and I uh, want to thank you very much for watching.